Hello Air Signs, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing your mid-month for September. Um, wanted to see what the divine wants you to know, right? This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Just take what does resonate, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, and toss out the rest, okay? Don't try to force anything. And thank you, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. I, I'm so appreciative of everybody here. Seriously, thank you for all of your support. I truly, truly mean that. All right, Divine, what do you have? I'm using my um, homemade baby deck as your oracles, okay? All right. Healing, a lot of healing. This is star energy here. But I feel like um, you're stressed out, okay? Because something, I, I feel like something is kind of falling, up, not really falling apart here, but something can't be reconstructed the, to the way it was before, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting off of this. And I feel like you may need to heal. Maybe you're putting yourself out there dating, all right? I feel like it's a connection that just um, so much damage has been done. And I feel like this could be something that went on year after year after year after year. This is a celebration gone bad also. So you could have had some kind of birthday party or celebration or something that was very, very stressful. I feel like you guys may be getting out, healing yourself from a stressful situation that just didn't work out, okay? Um, and there's no way, it's almost like there's no way to fix this, okay? It's a melted uh, cluster of wax at this point, okay? Um, there's no way to reconstruct this the way it was before. I don't know what, maybe your plans didn't work out in something or uh, maybe a celebration went really bad. I feel like people have been trying to hide this. Somebody's been trying to hide something here underneath the smoke screen. Um, possibly a masculine energy. This has to do with your soulmate here. I feel like there's a connection that's coming down to uh, coming to an end uh, because it's just such a mess that it can't be fixed okay that's really what i'm feeling like here it's a mess that can't be fixed and i feel like you're in the process of healing right now you could also be like i said putting yourself out there in the public eye a healer um aquarius energy here okay so this could have something to do with you or your person could be an aquarius i feel like this is your energy though trying to heal move forward right and get on with your life after um i don't know it's like something went down here or the whole thing went down it's almost like the whole thing went down this is somebody's birthday party i'm seeing candle work here or this could be even spell work that didn't work okay um whatever this is it's it didn't work out and I feel like somebody here is in the process of trying to hide it, putting on a happy face, right? That's what I heard. Put on a happy face, right? That's what I heard. I feel like somebody here is really stressed out, but trying, maybe it's this person here because they've got this blank stare, like what just happened, <laughs> right? I don't know what this is about, guys. I really don't. Oh, they're thinking about, I feel like somebody here is thinking about somebody from their past. This masculine wants somebody from their past. But whoever that is, I feel like, I feel like it's you, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. I feel like you're protecting yourself um, because something just can't be fixed anymore, okay? There could also be somebody who's angry, jealous, enraged. And I feel like in the future, something is about to, I want to say pop off, but in a good way. Like, um, there's wish fulfillment here coming in for somebody, and somebody's really upset about it. You could be in star energy, um, an empath, a healer, in the public eye, possibly having a glow up. 
I feel like it's this masculine here who um, who wants to come towards you. Okay, they want to go back to someone from their past. Okay, they, somebody they miss, somebody that they can't stop thinking about. Um, something could have happened around the 4th of July, too. This is a magical card for me. The 4th of July fireworks, right? Like fireworks are go. they went off for this person and now they can't stop thinking about you or someone from their past. I don't know who this is ending with. I kind of get the feeling like it's your energy um, air signs, right? I feel like you're healing from this. Maybe this is you moving on because you, you're done stressing out, but you're putting on a, a happy face. Somebody here is pretending, pretending to be, to have to heal from something not working out. And like, it just can't be fixed. Like I said, for some of you, it could have been a, like a birthday party. I don't know. This this masculine, all they can think about is this person from their past. But whoever that is, put yourself where you need to, okay? I feel like it's your energy, though. I, I feel like you're just being protective uh, of yourself. You know that something's not going to work out. It, it can't go back to the way things were during that time when you guys got together, maybe. This masculine is, like, falling apart at night. Nighttime is really bad for this person. I feel like all they can think about is you. All they can think about maybe is that time you guys got together. Okay. Um, they're missing you. And they're up all night. They, they can't sleep. They can't eat. They're thinking about all of the, maybe it's all of the pain that they caused you or something that you said or something that they said to you. I don't know what this is yet, but I know I've got a very distraught masculine energy here. Very, very upset. Maybe because they can't fix this with you. And you're trying to be strong here. Standing in your strength, not maybe not talking to this person. Um, whoever this is that they're thinking about, they're not, they're in their integrity, they're standing, they're in their boundaries, man, they have their boundaries up, this could be you or someone else, take it however it resonates, and this person is feeling really out in the cold, they don't know um, if they're going to be able to get this person back, they're feeling very out in the cold. Yeah, I feel like somebody was kept waiting here maybe um, in a mental prison while somebody had a decision to make between two people. Um, I don't know if this is your energy or not. Uh, for some of you, I feel like it is. I feel like you're worried, you're stressed out because this masculine is about to choose something else or um, they're, you know, they want to choose a path that you're on. Okay, take it how it resonates with you. But somebody here is really worried about this masculine going someplace else. And I feel like um, they've been needing to choose this path for, uh, or at least make a decision, right? They've been needing to make a decision um, between two different people for a long time. Um, and they know who it is that they want, okay? All right, what else can you show me here for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? Aquarius, you're out here really strong. Um, yeah, I feel like this could be your energy. Just stuck in your mind about this while this person tries to choose. Yeah, Libra energy here. And you want your justice in this situation, Libra. Um, you know, this could be for all of you, but yeah, it's time to get justice. I feel like... Um, I, this could also be some kind of divorce, you know, uh, with something that isn't working out. And your person's having a very painful ending in something so that they can come towards you here. Or they could have found out that you have somebody new. I sometimes, I, you guys see me as, I, when you, those of you who know me, know that um, I see this card as somebody who's new, like 80% of the time, okay? Somebody who's going to come in and just choose you. 
you're the only one they want out of all of these other options in the background. This is also a victory card. Somebody, I feel like there's a masculine energy who may be finding out that you have new love on the way. Um, they could be finding this news out. But I feel like they definitely want you, whoever this is for. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of communication coming your way. King of Wands in reverse, though. This is somebody very impulsive, somebody jealous, envious. Um, I feel like this masculine is jealous, envious. They're, they may be finding out some kind of truth about you having somebody new or getting new love here. After a long period of keeping you trapped and stuck in your mind while they decided, now they're jealous and envious about you getting new love. How do you like that? Yeah, you're about to be very happy. Um, they see you as their wish fulfillment. This is why. I feel like, um, yeah, they're, they're really going through it. Whoever this person is, is really going through it. Like, they're having a lot of pain. I feel like they're realizing this is the universe balancing out these scales, right? Um, yeah, they feel a bit betrayed. I don't, I don't know why that is. Because they kept you all wrapped up and tied up in your mind while they had a decision to make. Um, if they're betrayed about you getting new love here and being happy in your life, that's their problem. You know what I mean? I kind of get the feeling like maybe they're feeling a... It's paining this person. It hurts them to see you moving on with new love. Yeah. This person wants you, that's why. They waited too long and worked on something that didn't work out. That could be this. They worked on something that what that didn't work out and they can't fix it. I feel like, um, yeah, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. You could be watching this person knowing they want to go to somebody else or you're the person that they want to go to. Take it however this resonates, but this person's being watched by a karmic who um, is very codependent, okay? So um, I feel like they're wanting some kind of money or something from this person. There could be a divorce, and if there's a divorce, this person stands to lose a lot of money. They could lose a property, a business, something like that. Um, this Page of Swords here, um, I feel it's a karmic energy just breathing down this masculine's neck. Um, because they know, they know that this masculine wants to go somewhere else, okay? Yeah, that's the feeling that I'm getting here. And I feel like there could have been money stolen here from this masculine. They may not realize it. This could be somebody who drinks a lot, um, who plays a lot of games, who was so up in their ego they couldn't see clearly is really what I'm feeling like. And they may have had some money or something stolen from them. I see them having to walk away from all of these pentacles that they've worked so hard for. And yeah, I feel like maybe they're realizing somebody stole some kind of money for them or just plan to take their money maybe. That's what this could be too. So wherever you are in this, it, it, it's, either, um, it's either a karmic energy or it's your energy, okay? So put yourself wherever you have to. But they want to they, they wanna reach out. They want to give you this big old cup of love. They're being led to here. You could be dealing with, um, yeah, this person may even want to get married, actually. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Everybody's out here. Fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Everybody's out here. It could be anyone. But yeah, I feel like this person wants to... Whoever this is for, there could be all of a sudden a Queen of Cups shows up. 
I feel like there's somebody who wants to come towards a Queen of Cups energy, I gotta say. And they may even want to commit. Um, this is somebody who's very grounded, very stable. Um, could be, uh, they could have their own business. They could, they could, um, be all about their finances, okay? And this Queen of Cups here, very loving individual, the most nurturing sign in the deck. So this could be your energy here, just taking on the Queen of Cups. This person could also be all up in their emotions right now. Um, I feel like, yeah, they see whoever this is, they, I, I feel like they see you as being the one for them. Okay, especially with the higher font here, but there's something that's crumbling. Something's got a, a tower moment needs to happen first. Um, and I feel like there's, there's already some kind of commitment going on here that needs to come to an end. Um, so I'm feeling like some kind of divorce or a sudden bolt of lightning hit, strikes their foundation. Like, this is something that happens very suddenly, okay? I feel like this masculine, as they lay in bed, they're kind of praying for help here because they, they just don't know what to do. They're very distraught. They're having high anxiety. They're kind of freaking out. They're sad. They're depressed. They're worried. They're scared. And I feel like this is the divine helping this person out with a tower moment. Something's going to crumble, so that this person can come to the person that they love, okay? Yeah. Before this person goes with new love, before they get with new love, I feel like this person needs to, they feel the need to come forward, like, now. In a lot of regret here, you could be dealing with a Virgo, um, Taurus energy. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. They're in a lot of regret here because they know they're losing the one. The one for them. They chose poorly when I feel like they got in a, in a toxic situation with a karmic individual who's very clingy, um, very immature, very codependent here. That home situation is about to be um, it's about to, it's about to fall, okay? And um, this person stood in between this karmic situation that didn't have any love in it. There's nothing but blood and sand. There could be a lot of fighting in this situation here, okay? Everything is kind of falling apart. It's not working out. It can't be fixed to the way it was before. I feel it's because this masculine is like having some kind of awakening here. And they're not vibing at the same level anymore as this Page of Swords. So it's just time for them to move forward. And, and they feel very stuck. They're feeling ashamed. They're feeling maybe embarrassed. Um, they're sad. They're suffering a massive loss here. Okay, this is bereavement. Um, they're grieving, okay, over the one that they turned their back on. And I, I feel like that's this person here. who Put yourself wherever you have to. I feel like it, that that's your energy, and they want you back. And um, they're very envious and, and jealous over hearing that you may have new love. Yeah, they want this new beginning with you. This person's about to reach out. They're about to give you an apology here. They want, they want to commit. This is somebody who wants you back and for good. Um, they, I feel like this person wants to, they, they may want to propose to you here. They may want to propose. You're an empress energy for whoever this is. So, so it's, uh, something's ending for someone out here and you're trying to heal. It's either your situation that's coming to an end or your person's coming towards you, okay? Take it how it resonates with you guys, okay? Flip and reverse the roles how you have to. You could be dealing with the Pisces. We're heavy on Virgo here, guys. It could be any sign, okay? But yeah, they're they want you. You're the Empress and the Empress can't be beat. 
And I mean, I, I feel like this Page of Swords was trying very hard to hang on to this person. But this Page of Swords is, it, there, it, there's, there's no match between the Page of Swords and the Empress. There's just, there's no, yeah. It, I feel like it's over for this karmic or whoever this is here. They're coming towards their empress. And if there was any spell work done, it's not working. I feel like it's coming right back to them with this tower moment. So they could have done some candle magic. This could be spell work. This could be a like a birthday party celebration that really went bad. Or this could be just a relationship of some type of situation that just can't be fixed. Okay, take it however it resonates with you. Yeah, you're in high priestess energy. Extremely intuitive. You could be a boss, business owner, leveling up in your life, being intuitively led by spirit. Um, you could be another tarot card reader out here even. Um, becoming very abundant maybe you're just becoming very successful with whatever it is that you're doing and you haven't been talking to this person at all the the high priestess is silent and still she doesn't speak you're going to wait for people to come to you the the empress attracts things to her she doesn't chase so this person might have an issue talking to you you might not want to talk to them um yeah these these came out in reverse actually with the chariot and the bro yeah i feel like somebody here could be moving on or maybe somebody's having a hard time moving on and healing from this heartache could be dealing with a cancer i've got libra gemini aquarius here yeah this person knows they know they sat on this for too long and I feel like they know they're not going to be able to move on and heal from this person, from whoever this is. They've got to come in and talk to them. They've got to take some kind of action. I feel like after a long time of waiting to hear from this person, you're about to hear from this person. They're thinking about what they're going to say to you. Okay, they know they're going to have a hard time moving on. Um, but yeah, I feel like communication is definitely coming. And you're sitting here in high priestess energy. You're like, I'll listen, but I'm not, I'm not going to be the first one to, to start talking. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to find a way to defend themselves. They are. They're going to have to because of whatever they did to you. Whatever they did, they're going to have to defend that. And they're trying to find a smart way to do that. They, they really don't have much of a defense. Okay, they really don't. They're just kind of praying that they can get over this, that, um, that you, you guys can put this to rest for whoever this is for. Yeah, but they have no idea what's going to happen. They have no idea what's going to happen because you haven't been speaking. You're a mystery. They don't know what's going on with your life behind the scenes. They don't know if you're going to talk to them. They don't know if they're going to get rejected. They could go in and talk to you and suffer these three swords coming straight down on them. They don't know. They don't know if they're going to leave heartbroken. Yeah, this person's freaking scared. I feel like they're, they're, it's like they're terrified, um, feeling really stuck here. They just want to get past this. They just want to put all this pain and the third party stuff to rest. Um, they don't want to spend a lot of time fighting. I feel like they get that enough with the Page of Swords in that situation. Um, they want to put it all to rest here. But they're going to have to cut something out. They're going to have to end something here, regardless, either with you or, you see, Gemini energy here. Gemini. Um, they can't take their eyes off of you, that's for sure. But while this masculine is focused on you and the person, you know, the person from their past, 
um, this moment that you shared, whatever it is, while they're focused on you, everything is crumbling in their life. And you're out here becoming very abundant, very knowledgeable. You've, I feel like you've always been a huge temptation for this person. But they're scared. They're, they're scared because they, they don't know how you're going to react to this communication. And they just want to get past the pain, the heartache. And they they know they can't move for they cannot move on, they can't get past this unless they speak to you. Yeah, this person's gonna use all that they can to change this around and transform this situation. Everything that they can. You could very well be dealing with um, a Virgo Aries. We're heavy on Virgo out here, guys. Um. But I see something coming to an end so that this person can take another chance with the person that they love, the one that they miss. There's that six of cups again. The one that they want. They can't, they can't get over this, okay? Um, and I feel like they treated you like an option. You could be a divine feminine here. This person, this could be your divine masculine. They treated you like a like an option, maybe thinking you didn't have much to bring to the table. They could have thought that you were naive enough to um, put in a third party. And uh, I feel like they were hiding something from you from the gate. Right out the gate. But I feel like they thought they they thought they found a winner here, and it ended up having this a skull on the cup. Okay, it's the only cup here with the skull in it, and now they're looking at you, the one they tried to cover up and forget about, and you're the most abundant one. Okay, you're the most abundant one in an empress energy here, high priestess. Very powerful energy, okay? Very highly, highly intuitive and connected to the divine. Now they can't forget about you. This person knows they're never going to be able to forget about you or get over the connection because they're now realizing that the right one is getting away, okay? You're always going to be the one that got away because you're just the one. Yeah, they want this new beginning with you here. They could have came in and used you. Yeah, and you're the one. Queen of Pentacles. Judgment. This person knows you're their wish fulfillment. They want this new beginning with you, air signs. So, yeah, I feel like they are going to communicate. Now, when they start communicating, it's going to start slow, you know, a little little bits at a time just to kind of test the waters to see if you're gonna actually have a conversation with them but then the the communication is going to speed up okay you're going to get a lot of communication from this person here in september after a long pe period of waiting to hear from them okay and for whoever um situation is actually ending because i don't know where you are in this reading right um, take it how it resonates with you. But if it's your relationship that's ending here, let's get some cards for that. I don't know who it's ending with. So I'm seeing air signs on both sides, uh, both ends of the mat. So you could be um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who your situation is ending with this person. Possibly Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Scorpio energy, but that's that's meaning like an end to me that cut off, right? Yeah, look, love. New love and a new beginning is coming in for you, and this person's gonna have to watch. Yeah, so either way, on both ends of the spectrum, this person's going through it once again. Virgo energy, lots of Virgo out here. Cancer Scorpius get the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this new person coming in could be a Sagittarius. Um, well, it could be a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Somebody very good looking. Okay. 
somebody possibly younger than this Virgo is coming towards you wanting a new beginning um so yeah if you're if this situation is ending for you don't fret don't fret because you know what you new love is coming in really fast new love okay anyway libra gemini aquarius that's what i've got for you for this um reading for september right checking the energies for you uh, if you guys like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.